to the channel. Today is a crappy day out here in Florida because simply the wind just wants to drive me crazy. So right now I'm at Vista View Park. If you're in South Florida, you know what I'm talking about. I had a spot that I thought I was alone and this guy decided to go hotbox over there in his car. So thanks for that, bud. Um, he just wanted to be in a YouTube video, I guess. So how you doing? Um, so today we're gonna be talking about why you need one of these bad boys in your life. Scat Pack Challenger. One of the best cars to own for a daily driver for other reasons as well. So we're going to get into that now. But what I do want to mention is I'm letting you know I'm filming on an iPhone right now. I don't know if I already said that. So I apologize for not bringing the greatest quality video. But my camera nor my GoPro wanted to work in this windy condition. And I'm hoping this is different. So it seems to be working. So we're going to see how that turns out later. But guys, I thank you for watching this video. Let's get into why this is the car to have. Number one. The Challenger is the only car, it came out in about 05, the only car, American sports car, to stay an American muscle car, to keep its true American grit. So when you look at this thing, you know it's a, it's a heavy beast with a hell of a lot of power, and it's a mean son of a bitch on the road. That's what you want out of a muscle car. It looks mean, it sounds mean, and it's, it's straight line fast. All right, y'all, so I was trying to say what number two was, but the wind was a little too strong out there. So what I'm going to say here is number two is the fact that the car is so big. Um, this car is the most comfortable daily driver of any sport muscle car you can think of. That's a coupe. Um, for something that has two doors, the back seat's very usable. The car is very comfortable. The seats are big. Whether you're fat or skinny, it's comfy. Not to be mean, but it's the truth. Um, it's just a, it, it hugs you no matter what weight you are like this this chair I'm hundred and fifty five pounds probably and this thing hugs me And I, I like that. I like the the feel. It's not a race seat. It's just a comfortable Sports seat with the suede leather combo um, So this being the most comfortable coupe. It's just easy to daily drive e easily to cruise in take trips in whatever um, if you have kids, which I do not, so I don't know, but you could shove one back there, no problem. You just, you know, put a car seat, no, no big deal. So, also what I think is, whenever you get in and out of a Mustang, Challenger, or Camaro, you're going to find the Challenger is your favorite choice. Do you know why? Yes, because the car is huge. Doors are big, they open wide. The Camaro, the Mustang, the doors are just, you open it, you go to get out of the car, your, your foot is like hitting that area right there in the door so this that doesn't happen and um, that was my little demonstration I hope you like that so this that doesn't happen and that to me is a it's, it's a deal breaker because if you're in a tight spot it's really hard to get out of the car um, and these cars just it's comfortable as, as key as a daily if it was a weekend car who cares that's really important so on to number three it's a number three it's gonna seem silly it just kind of goes towards this model the shaker you know to me the shaker is number three why you should buy at least a scat pack shaker because it just it's got that look it's got it's so rare because you don't see so many shakers on the road you might where you live I live in South Florida and I don't see a ton on the road really people don't drive shakers a lot I just don't see them so to me I really appreciate it because it keeps that muscle car look again like we talked about number one and it just it, it, it just gives it its own little touch of muscle so that's a little short number three number four you know leaning towards the other challenger models now um you know when you really look into it this car is about mid 40s that's how much it costs in the mid 40 price range you're getting a 392 which is a big motor you're getting a whole lot of power you're getting 485 horsepower 473 of torque okay you know, when you go to a Hellcat, you're spending 71,000. Yes, you're getting 707 horse, but you know, you're getting a supercharger. You could buy a supercharger for this car and you put a bunch of stuff and work into it for maybe what? Let's say a lot of power, 10 grand. That's a good. That's a good budget right there. And you could beat a Hellcat with that power. It's going to be better. You're going to put better power into it. If I just put, let's say, I put headers. And maybe I change the cam and I put a 200 shot on that car. That car is going to blow a Hellcat away. And that would be a good race. That's a possibility in my setup, by the way. Just a hint. There's a couple of ideas. So let me know what you think of that. But um, 
yeah, so so far, you know, to me, that's just the best bank for your buck. To me, that's number four, is, is, is that right there. Scat pack is all. So, number five. <sighs> Ain't she pretty? I mean, come on. But number five is, I feel they're, they're pretty... What was number five? Oh, you know what? I forgot my number five. Number five is this. Well, did you like that? I know you did. The sound of that screaming 6.4 liter SRT V8. As well as those mid-muffler delete as well as those Mickey's burning rubber, brother. Hell yeah. You like that? So, to me, that this car is just the best challenger bank for your buck. Car in the market in general. Scat pack. It's just all in one to me. Charger 2, same thing. I think they named it the Daytona. I don't know if they still have the scat pack. I don't follow too much with the Charger. Um, but guys, I hope you enjoy my little five points here. I know it didn't seem like much. I'm filming on a damn iPhone, so please excuse me for this video. I hope the quality turned out okay. I, again, I tried this with my Canon, with my GoPro. This is my third time in a different place, so we'll see how this works. But guys, I, I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you're stopping in for the first time, my name is Johnny. This is the Car Guy Chronicles. My buddy Manny, this is our channel. $200 giveaway on the channel. All you gotta do is right there, hit that subscribe button right here. Hit that like button. That's not to enter the giveaway like button. That's just to give me a like. But hit that subscribe button. Follow us on Instagram at the Car Guy Chronicles. You see, I just put it there. That's cool, right? So follow us there. You're automatically entered. There's no sign up. There's no credit card. No bullshit. You just do that. That's all we need to know. So once we hit a thousand followers, you're gonna get a chance to win 200 bucks. That's when we announce a winner. So guys, thank you for watching. Again, I'll say it again. Uh, you guys have a great day. I will see you in the next one. And in the next one, this girl is going to get something because I'm sick of nothing. I need a mod. I am. I have a disease, and I like to mod my car. <laughs> Hell yeah, brother. I'll see you guys in the next one, all right? Thanks for watching.